Hi everybody, I'm here to talk about the drug Convenia, which is manufactured by Pfizer. It's a long-acting antibiotic, which is used in cats and dogs. It stays in their system for 12 days and as an active drug, and then for 64 days non-active after that. So it's very dangerous on that basis alone. It's not good to use an antibiotic type of drug, or really any drug, which cannot be removed from the system. Because if you have a reaction to it, a severe reaction, you can't do anything about it. Once it's in the body, it's going to be there for that period of time. There have been many adverse events with Convenia. Just go to the Facebook page and read about it. Cats and dogs. Um, but particularly seems to happen more in cats for some reason, who have terrible reactions to Convenia. Some people have speculated that it's because what it does is it aggressively kills off both the good and the bad bacteria in the dogs and cats system, and they go into a trauma, especially a cat or dog who has, is immune compromised, who maybe has FELV or FIV or some other immune um, you know, illness, and they can't react normally. And if this does happen to your cat or dog, please read the Facebook page, read Cheek Oats page um, about how to possibly counteract that. You can use probiotic therapy to try and build up the bacteria that's killed by Convenia. But of course, consult with your veterinarian, you know, before trying any of this. Um, my cat Angelina, who passed away on September 26th, was given a shot of Convenia six days, I believe it was, before she passed away. And she just went into what seemed like a terrible reaction. She developed a high fever. She stopped eating. She um, became very lethargic and totally out of it and doped. She was hiding in the closet. And she was very ill. I'm doing a necropsy on her at Cornell um, Hospital, upstate New York. And they found that they believe that she had lymphoma of her pancreas and liver. She may have also had FELV. This was all a total surprise because she seemed like she just had a cold and then two weeks later she passed away in a very traumatic way. Um, but I do believe, in spite of the fact that she was very ill, that Convenia played a big role in that. It caused her an anemic reaction in her, which was not apparent in her blood work before the Convenia, in spite of the fact that she had um, you know, lympho, probably lymphomatic cancer or lymphoma. Um, there was no anemia that was apparent before the convenia. It may never be able to be proven that the convenia affected her and contributed to her death, but I will never really believe that it didn't play a role from what I personally saw and from what I've read now about reactions in convenia. Pfizer did two studies on convenia, a foreign market study and a study in this country. In the study in this country, there's no severe or adverse events you know, that are re reported anyway. In the foreign market study, there were severe events reported, ataxia, seizures, death, severe diarrhea, um, inappetence, lethargy, neurological problems, and many other severe problems that were caused by convenia. And I just don't believe that they're being honest about what they're reporting because I don't think it's possible to use the same drug and not have you know, bad reactions in both studies done in this country and in foreign market studies. It's just not possible. I also believe that they're not informing veterinarians about the severe reactions, and I believe that they're not properly reporting to the FDA when people are reporting to them, either your veterinarian or you, reporting to them about an adverse event. I don't think they're reporting that to the FDA, which they're required by law to do. So if your cat or dog has had a reaction to this, number one, you need to do a necropsy, particularly if they're a healthy cat or dog, and see what happened. And then you need to request that your veterinarian report that, and you need to report it yourself, both to Pfizer and to the FDA, because I believe this drug should be taken off the market. It doesn't matter that there are many cats and dogs that don't have a reaction to it, because if there are the number that I have seen from my reading online and at Facebook, um, if there are hundreds of people that are having reactions with their cat and dog, it needs to be stopped being used. And we need to start being honest about this. If this happens to your cat or dog, you're going to feel really horrible. So um, please do as much reading as you can about Convenia. 
don't use it. If you do have it given to your cat or dog, you know, either without realizing that something bad could happen or without your permission, which has happened also, try to try the um, various therapies that people have tried to counteract the convenient reaction, which is probiotic therapy. And also I've heard of people using apple cider vinegar too. Um, but the main thing is just say no to convenia. If we stop using the drug, then they won't be able to continue using it, you know, and they won't be able to make the money that they make off of this drug. So please inform yourself, inform everybody that you know. That's what I'm trying to do now. I don't want anybody to, to go through losing their cat or dog, you know, their beloved cat or dog, or having terrible reactions, you know, which can be longstanding and permanent blindness, um, neurological problems, seizures and you know lethargy some cats have gone into a total state of lethargy and never really come out of it after using this drug good luck everybody take care when i get more information about the necropsy i will post the, the final report of that so far i just have the initial report i don't have the histology yet but i'll let you know what happens with that take care